Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Hi. I am working on this bell project here. Well, it's actually a gong, not a bell. You'll see it later. And I need to change my longevity Pro MTS from one function to the other. You know, right now it's set up for TIG, but I want to use MIG on this thing, so I'm going to switch some cables around. So here's the front of the Pro MTS right here, and this is these are all the cables. So let me show you how to change these around. So right now it's set up for TIG welding. So the TIG torch is hooked up to the negative terminal, and the ground cable is hooked up to the positive terminal. And all we want to do to change it from TIG over to MIG is drop the TIG torch out of the way, move the ground over to negative, and then we just fire the machine up. Now we just come up to the function button right here, and just right now you can see it's set to the middle, the middle icon, that's the TIG. So just give it a push. It jumps up to the MIG function and just adjust accordingly. Whatever you need to do as far as your wire feed and your amperage. Set the wire diameter, the wire thickness, to the 0.03, which is what it, I have in the machine. And just come up to the function button. Make sure it's set to FE, which is steel. So you still have to go to the back of the machine, sort of, because it's a multifunction machine. It's TIG, MIG, and stick. You have to have argon for the TIG function. You have to have mixed gas, which is 75% argon, 25% CO2 for the MIG side. And of course, with stick, you don't need either one. But because I'm going to use the MIG, come back here and just turn the bottle on open up the valve that's handily marked with an M for MIG, <laughs> and now you're good to go. So grab your helmet, grab your gear, and we come over here and make some parts. You see, the nice thing is I can just tack it with the MIG. Easy, one hand, quick. You know, I can set up all my pieces, tack them all together. Then if I want, I can just jump right back over to the, to the uh, TIG function and come over and do you know, real nice, pretty, you know, artistic looking welds down there. Nice, clean looking, nothing to grind, nothing to go back clean, go, you know, go back and clean up. But as soon as I get this other side tacked in, what I really need to do is switch it over to stick. And I need to come in and work on some of this 3 ace wall and get some of this welded in. And I'll just do that with the stick welder. But let me get this guy in place and then we'll jump over to that. So just like before where I switched it from TIG over to MIG, you know, the switch from MIG over to stick, basically the same thing. You know, just make sure you shut your bottle off because I've got this little Y connector to go from one bottle or the other into one machine. Make sure you shut him off. And then all you have to do to go from MIG to stick, all you have to do is break out your stinger. goes into the positive terminal, give it a little while, you'll get a little twist to lock it down. Go back to your function button and drop it down to the arc, you know, to the stick icon. The rest of the buttons are all dead, they don't do anything except for your amperage, which is right here. Because of the thickness that I'm, of the metal that I'm working with, just go ahead and crank it up to max. You know, we'll, we'll run a little test bead, make sure it's set, set correctly, and then I can go ahead and do the arc welding that I want to get done on here on all the thick, heavy metal. So, so all set up for stick. I've got, uh, got about 20 volts on the machine and about 85 amps or so. I'm just going to run a little test just to see how it works, and then I'll get all the rest of this done so I can keep on moving. So. We'll see you guys next time. What size rod are you using, Kev? Oh, this is 8-inch, uh, 7018. Watch out.